official title is uh, Executive Vice President of America of the National AFL-CIO. I served in office for 12 years, but I was in the labor movement and have been active in the labor movement for 54 years. Woo! But I'm not going to tell you my age, okay? <laughs> I understand. Uh, the question here today is what is happening to our post office? Uh, I've been an active unionist for all these years. I've seen a lot in my lifetime. I don't know that I have seen anything as bad as how this United States Postal Service is being handled, not only by the man who heads it up there in Washington, D.C., but now we're having problems with people at our local post offices, and those mm -hmm. post offices have working people who have dedicated their lives throughout the uh, pandemic, through all kinds of problems and, and, and delays and what have you with, with, uh, with the work that they do, and here they are going through it again because management here at our post office in San Antonio, Texas, is not treating the workers with respect. They're not letting them bargain collectively with, with the, their jobs. And, and I am really upset. And I've, I come out and pick it because people have to know. People mm -hmm. have to know that there is not good management here at the post office. And they should be outraged. I am. Mm -hmm. I get medicines by mail. And guess what? I'm supposed to take two a day. Right now, I'm taking one a day so that I can make it stretch because I don't know what my medication is going to get. Because mm. everything has been delayed. That is what the Postmaster General did. He's delaying the mail. He's pricing the cost of stamps and mailings higher. And we're not getting anything out of it because the workers are not getting anything out of it. All they're getting is punished. We don't even know for what. Mm. And as you can see, the sign here says, parking for disabled veterans now, but have you heard about the movement of the parking spots for handicap have been moved further away? So people with ailments that, for example, they're, maybe they can't walk as far, they're having problems. What do you think of that? Well, I, I, I would be very upset with that period as an individual who would not be handicapped. But there was a period of time after I was hospitalized in 2020 that I had to use a disabled uh, heart mm. because I had been hospitalized for a long time and it was very So he's disabling disabled people mm. and their ability to get close to a building or to be able to do what they need to do uh, with their disabilities. We really need to do something about this post office. We need somebody to come in here and clean it up. And I think the first person to go is the guy that's running it or the person who's running it because it isn't being run right. Absolutely, I agree. Well, thank you, ma'am. You have a wonderful day. Thank you. Thank you. As you can see here, we're, we've gained uh, quite a few other people here. As you can see, some of the other unions have joined forces with us here to protest the terrible treatment of postal employees.